Hi, I'm Dr. Joni Liu, and I'm back with another Cosmic Tidbit. So, why does the collective ego hate our animal nature? Why does it hate nature so much? Well, you know, one of the things that it does is that it likes to teach us how to repress and suppress our feelings. And our feelings definitely come from our bodies. You see, the first thing that we feel when in response to something is our true feeling. So that is what, um, what is really happening in the situation. But the collective ego likes to fool us, okay? So our animal nature is our body as well. It includes our body. But you may have noticed that in modern medicine, they like to sort of cut us up into different parts and none of them are ever connected. They want us to treat our body like a machine, but our body is not a machine. For instance, the heart is not merely a pump that circulates, okay? And neither are the lungs something that simply breathe. Our hearts and our lungs, our lungs, because it's so close to the heart, feels all the emotions. And this is a very important thing because our emotions tell us, our feelings tell us the truth of a matter. So our heart is not merely something that pumps. And definitely we are, our hearts are definitely connected to every part of our body because of the blood that circulates through all our little veins and all our little arteries, right? Everything is connected. And our feelings definitely have an effect on all our body parts, so good or bad. But, but the collective ego wants us to ignore our feelings to our detriment. Repressing and suppressing them causes disease through and through. But modern medicine likes to cut us up into different parts. So that is the reason why you never get the results that you would like. You never get healthy again, okay? Like we're not even supposed to be using the word cure because that apparently is trademarked by, I think the FDA. So we're not even allowed to use that word because they're so afraid of it. So I'll be back with another Cosmic Tidbit. Talk to you later, bye.